Vinny, Michelle did not follow me to the warehouse. She knows to steer clear of me when I'm doing business. Well, if she approved of your business, sure. If she was really on board with the changes you've made. Yeah, she was. She told you so herself. Maybe she was lying. Michelle doesn't lie. Says you. But can I afford to take your word for Vinny, it? That's the question. Look, I understand you're being concerned about this situation. But whether Michelle followed me or not, whether she saw what I did or not, it's really beside the point. It doesn't matter no, anymore. No, 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 it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter because Michelle's brother, Rick, was just in here and he gave me some terrible news. He just ran some tests on Michelle. MRI, CAT scan, and it turns out that because of the explosion and the concussion and the swelling to her brain, there's been extensive damage to the frontal lobe, which means if she even does wake up, she's going to be a vegetable, Vinny. You know what that means. I mean, she's not going to be able to talk or think. Rick thinks she's not even going to be able to recognize me. So, my Michelle, the woman I married, she's, uh, she doesn't exist anymore. She's gone. You don't have to worry about it. Look, if you want, I can bring Rick back in here and he can explain it again. I don't know, maybe I, I misunderstood. Maybe it's not as bad as that. I don't know. I don't know. That's okay. Sounds like you've been through enough for one day anyway, so... Yeah. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Listen, look, look, look. You got family and friends to support you, okay? Yeah. It'll work out. I got a meeting cross town now. Keep the faith, huh? Thanks again for coming. Yeah. You want to tell me what that was, Danny? You realize what he's going to do when he finds out that you lied to him? Huh? Tony, you don't know the half of it. What, what does that mean? You want to talk about lies? That was nothing. I've been lying to everybody, Tony. To you. To, well, everybody. Ever since. Well, wait, wait, hold on. Lying since when? About what? Tony, I'm working undercover for the federal government for Jeffrey O'Neill. And my assignment is to bring Vinny down. So you just decided to go solo? What about Michelle? She stayed with you? Michelle knows. She knows? She knows. Oh, boy. O'Neill didn't want me to tell her, but uh, he thought the more she knew, the more danger she'd be in, but I didn't think that was the case. Plus, we agreed that we would never keep secrets from each other anymore. I wasn't going to keep her out of this. What'd she say? Well, I was hoping that she would take Robbie and leave me so they'd be safe, but she didn't. She didn't. She stuck by me. This, this is right. Michelle did follow me to the warehouse because I lied there. Oh, okay. About what? I didn't tell her about the fake hit on Eden. And she knew something was up, and so she followed me to the warehouse. And this is this is nuts. Now that Vinny is sniffing around, I have got to keep Michelle safe. Will you? I don't know about this. I'm oh, sorry. I don't this know. This jam that I'm in with O'Neill. I didn't tell you about it before now because I didn't want you to choose between me and Salerno. But I just had to lie to Vinny. And I did it to protect Michelle. And you happen to be here. So. We are where we are. If you went to Vinny with this, you and I know that you could stand to really move up in Vinny's organization. And get you killed. Danny, do you realize that? It could get you killed. Yeah, I know, if you share it with him. And if I don't, what? Don't. 
Tony, I still have to do what O'Neill wants and bring Benny down. What are you gonna do? She's crazy. Tony, you heard Benny. Michelle's in danger. If he finds out that she knows something that could hurt him... This is crazy. Do you realize that? All this time you've been going around behind my back, lying to my face, and now you have the audacity to ask me what I'm gonna do about it? Danny! Yeah. Okay, fine. You know what? I'll tell you exactly what I'm gonna do about it. Nothing. Not a thing. All right? I don't want to do this for the family. Okay, I want to do it for you. I want to do it for Michelle, for Robbie. So, no, to answer your question, I mean, he's not going to find out what you're doing, not from me. And if there's anything else you need from me, you're going to let me know, right? Tony, totally, thank you. You, you. you don't need to thank me, Danny. You don't. Just, you know, I just... <laughs> Vinny's the problem now, man. I'm telling you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you, you, you told him that story about Michelle, right? But when she comes out of this coma, she's, she's... I had no choice, Tony. I had to protect Michelle. I know that. I do. I know that. You still do. Maybe... We need to give him someone else to worry about. Someone like... Neil? Eden took the heat. I've been taking it. Now, Michelle, maybe it's his turn. O'Neill. Cooper. I was just calling to check in. Tell it's you Danny, that's a Salerno's heck club. of a conversation probably about to go down at the social club. How's Michelle? You made contact with your man? I really came to the hospital. Him, uh, my he thinks that Michelle knows something. I had to lie to him and tell him that she's never going to recover. So I need to... Get Vinny to focus on something else. I wanted to be sure you were listening. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. That sounds good. That sounds good. Are you okay? Uh, I, I'll be okay. Gotta go. I'll be okay. I'm not gonna let my feelings get in the way of my job, you know. Thank you. Coop, thanks. He got to his guy on the street. He says the pressure should hit Salerno soon. Well, that was Danny. And he's going to see Salerno right now. Hey, look who's here. Luigi, how you doing, Benny? I'm surprised you're not at the hospital. Yeah, I know, but sitting around hour after hour watching Michelle, knowing that she's never going to be the same again. I know, it's a terrible thing. I can't believe that there's no hope for her. It's killing me. You got to get your mind off of things, Danny. I know. I know, that's why I'm here. I need to do something. I need to work. Well, maybe in a couple of weeks, I'll put you on numbers with Luigi, all right? In the meantime, just try to relax. Vinny, come on. Would you be able to relax if you knew that your wife was going to be a vegetable for the rest of her life? Give me a break here. Let me get back to getting a hold of that antimonious that Eden flushed on you. Let me work on that. What is this with you, a pet project? You wanted to go to San Cristobal to help with the delivery. Well, yeah, you got to be having supply problems by I now, do. right? I do when I can handle them. Just sit tight, Danny. I'll put you back to work when I think the time is right, not before. All right. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, okay, Vinny. Whatever you say. Something else in your mind, Danny? Yeah, I, uh... I think I screwed up. About what? Jeffrey O'Neill. Something happened. Remember when I came to you? looking for a spot in your organization, and you offered to take out O'Neill as a gesture of goodwill. Yeah, you talked me out of it. Yeah, that was my mistake. O'Neill is on the war path now that Eden's dead. He can't prove it was a hit, can No, he? no, 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 I made sure of that, but I, I overheard him at the hospital talking to some cops. He is convinced that you had something to do with Eden's death, and he is gonna come after you with everything he's got. I think you need to get to him first. What the? I'm sorry. I, I was wrong about him. But I want to make it up to you. You know, should you decide that you want to make a statement or 
wrong move. I, I don't believe this. I appreciate the offer. It's really something, isn't it? You've done good. Yeah, I don't know about no, that. No, 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 no. Look, look, look. You want to be seen as a can-do guy. I don't hold that against you. I might have done the same thing myself way back when. Besides, thanks to you, I know I'm a no-neal's day planner. That more than makes up for it. All right, well, thanks for understanding, Vinny. Listen. Okay. All right. I, I gotta get this. All right, I'm gonna take off. I'll check in with you later. Yeah. Okay. See you guys. Yeah. Very smooth, Mr. Santos. What? Why? What? The next act is about to begin. <laughs>